Hey everybody, this is Beelit, and this is more Injustice 2 Online. This is episode 6, and in this episode it's going to be a set between me and a Green Lantern player. Um, you are going to see this match, uh, this matchup's really, really kind of odd. Um, I don't like it with Wonder Woman at all. I feel like uh, the, the ball's really in Green Lantern's court. And uh, we played more than this, but I didn't have it all recorded. I use a share factory for my recordings, and it only takes 15 minutes. So, yeah, if, I, if I'm if i getting caught up in it, I have a tendency to forget. And, you know, I'll press it when I do, and <laughs> or I'll press it when I remember to press it. But I don't always remember to press it, and I really need to get better about that. That's that's my problem. That's that's my thing. I, I gotta work on it. But, um... This matchup, I feel, is, is definitely in Green Lantern's favor. Um, I think that he's got the the ranged toolkit to control the match. Um, and then he's got the close range toolkit to still keep Wonder Woman... I, I, I won't say... I, I won't say locked down, but definitely not free. Um, Wonder Woman gets in close, and I've said this before, she doesn't really have anything when she does get in close. Um, but Green Lantern having pretty solid uh, footsie tools really gives Wonder Woman a hard time even when you do start to get in close there. And these slow fireballs are actually really difficult to deal with. Um, so freaking good in, uh, in neutral. They really slow you down here. So um, anyway, yeah, uh, Green Lantern I, I think really just has control pretty much anywhere you are in this matchup and it just kind of comes down to making crazy crazy consistent reads if you want to uh, beat Green Lantern. Um, you're also going to have to do some blocking. I don't think this player knew about the um, Green Lantern you know uh, I, I almost reset gimmick that, that he can do. Uh, he can do cross up 4-3 or same side 4-3 and then of course once you're understanding that he can go cross up or same side he can then start going into the low off of it. So yeah, it's it's pretty powerful and I don't think this player knew that but you honestly don't really have to. Um, it it The matchup is difficult enough um, without that. This player also wasn't too good at hit confirming. <laughs> Um, so there was, there was another thing that could have been way worse, uh, in this matchup here. Um, Green Lantern having a, a safe wake up is really difficult to, to deal with as well. And, uh, one of the things I talked about in the last game is, is meter. And you're going to notice, I, maybe not to the extended degree, but I think, I think you will start to see it a little bit, that building meter while zoning is actually pretty strong when um, when you're fighting against someone who doesn't have the ability to really compete with you on zoning or, or trade all that much. Um, one of the big things in this matchup that you've probably noticed quite a few times is that Green Lantern can punish the shield toss. One of the things that I've tried and that I did try against this player a few different times was just saying, okay, I understand that you know that you can punish this but I need to try to take away your meter. Because when I do get in, I can't afford to keep taking 30% of my life when when you just stagger your back ones. So what I started doing was trying to purposefully throw shield toss. Look at how good that dash is. Jeez, man. Um, purposely throwing shield tosses to try to get him to spend meter. The problem was you build meter so fast that you know if it goes back to if, if you're still in that zoning game it didn't really matter all that much and then if you get you know a few shield toss hits here and there then you just give them a full bar um, on that as well even if you do hit it, it's not really a good strategy to try and I don't know if you can hear that ambulance I apologize if you can um, but it, it didn't actually work out very well to to try to steal the meter like that. I mean, I thought it was I thought it was smart. You know, I thought that was you know thinking a step ahead and you know really working for something. But yeah, uh, it didn't actually work out when I when I tried applying that as well. 
just because the meter builds so fast and if you do ever get a hit you just give them all, all the freaking meter in the world you know um it's it's kind of rough um on the other side of it if somehow as wonder woman you get a life lead it's actually not the worst thing in the world um wonder woman with a life lead can be pretty difficult to overcome um unfortunately it's just you know, you can't always really expect to one get the life lead and two to also maintain it it is a little bit hard to maintain the life lead if it happens earlier on in the game if it happens late then generally you can you can kind of turtle it out but early on in the game you, you, you're gonna need a little bit more because you just can't sit full screen eventually you're gonna give them um, enough that they're just gonna destroy you and chip you until they have the life lead and then you're gonna have to go in on them anyway and you didn't really help anything so um, yeah it's 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 okay Green Lantern isn't at very weak up close I definitely wouldn't describe him as weak up close um, he's a very good footsie character while he doesn't have what I would I, I wouldn't say that he has pressure up close he does have the back one stagger which can be a little bit annoying um, it's it's hard because you you know if you try to call him out on it and then you get hit by the the three uh, the back one three then it's it's rather frustrating but you know it, it's not what I would call pressure up close still strong still has the ability to hit you no doubt about that it's just um, yeah it, there will be a time if he does make a commitment there will be a time that it becomes your turn if he makes if he makes a solid commitment on it um, so that's that's really the only thing with uh, Green Lantern up close he can still hit you you know he's got his forward two down one which is an overhead he can put the forward two out you see the forward two you understand that the down one can come after that and that's your overhead but he lets the forward two recover and does back one instead well now you just got opened up so it, it's not that you can sit there and block him out and only have to worry about a stagger you know there there is still stuff he can use to open you up but you know it, it's once once he's made his play it becomes your turn but he still has a play to make and and that's what makes him um dangerous enough that even if you were to get a life lead with wonder woman you couldn't just sit on that life lead alone and and make it count from you know the very beginning of the game so um that's kind of the surface level of the green lantern matchup um punishable shield with the meter burn lantern beam kind of thing um, makes that very very difficult and pretty much forces you to have to play Green Lantern's zoning game as Wonder Woman then when you get in you have nothing to hit him with I will see you guys next time <laughs> Bye. thanks for watching